The National Retail Federation says consumers are expected to spend a record $10.1 billion on Halloween this year. That's up from roughly $8 billion last year when the CDC advised most people to avoid trick-or-treating. The average person is to forecast to spend about $100 on costumes, candy, decoration, and greeting cards. That's 10 bucks more than last year. Most of the spending will go up, excuse me, go up to dressing up, although $3 billion is expected to be spent on all that candy. The NRF says two-thirds of Americans plan to celebrate Halloween next month, compared to 58% last year and just below the 68% in 2019. Costco announced it will once again limit sales on items like toilet paper, bottled water, and cleaning supplies. Shipping delays and truck driver shortages are to blame for the restrictions. Some items are seeing delivery delays as long as three weeks. Costco has not yet outlined how many of the limited items customers will be able to buy. Well, we all love to unwind on vacation, but a new survey looks at just how little relaxation parents get while vacationing with their kids. Now, according to the one poll survey, the average parent gets just 17 minutes of relaxation a day while on a family vacation. One in 10 parents have less than five minutes to unwind. The survey also found more than half of parents who consider themselves strict are willing to bend the rules a tad on vacation. And if you're looking to relocate, the Rhode Island farmhouse that inspired the 2013 horror movie The Conjuring is up for sale. The movie was not filmed there, but was based on the experiences of a family that lived there in the 1970s. The 3,100 square foot home has 14 rooms and is allegedly haunted by a woman who lived there in the 1800s. If it doesn't scare you, maybe the price will. It's listed for $1.2 million. If you're looking for a show to binge watch as the nights get cooler, Tiger King is back. Netflix has announced that it is working on Tiger King 2. Tiger King is about a show about Joe Exotic, whose real name is Joe McDonald Passage. Joe Exotic kept big cats in Oklahoma, but was sentenced to 22 years in federal prison for two counts of murder for hire against Carol Baskin, a rival big cat keeper. In July, a federal appeals court ruled that Exotic should get a shorter sentence. Netflix says the second season has been shot and they plan to release it sometime this year.